Hello and welcome to IGCSE Tube. Uh, so this is part number seven of chapter number 14, Organic Chemistry. Um, in this uh, video, we will be talking about uh, cracking, a reaction known as cracking, by which um, alkenes and hydrogen uh, are manufactured. Um, if you haven't watched part number six, it is the part where I talk, uh, where I introduce um, alkenes. Uh, so go and watch it if you haven't. All right, so cracking, as you can see here, this is a screenshot from the syllabus. Uh, this is from section 14.5. It is described the manufacture of alkenes and of hydrogen by cracking. So uh, that's the part of the syllabus we will be covering um, in this video. All right, so let's define cracking. Cracking, uh, let me get the highlighter. Uh, cracking is basically the breakdown of large alkanes into. There are two options, either alkenes and hydrogen as the products or alkenes and simple alkanes. So simpler, uh, smaller um, alkanes in comparison to the large alkane. Um, a quick reminder uh, so the uh, general formula of the alkanes is uh, CnH2n plus 2. All right, so, um, so cracking is the breakdown of large alkanes. Now, in order for this reaction to take place, there are certain conditions that needs to be available. And these are heat, that is temperature has to be at around uh, 600 degrees Celsius and uh, two catalysts. Um, what is meant by catalyst for those of you that don't know? A catalyst is basically a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction. In other words, it speeds up the rate of the reaction. So the two catalysts that need to be present in order for the um, cracking to take place is silicon um, dioxide and aluminum oxide. All right, let's see some examples here. So the conditions that we just talked about uh, will be placed on the arrow. It's a must for you to uh, put these um, in the exam. So here we have an ethane. Um, if we're going for the first option, which is an alkene and hydrogen, this is really simple because all that you do is you take out of the six two um, so you have the hydrogen and so four will be left so C2H4 it will automatically be uh, the corresponding alkene of that alkane so if this is an ethane this will be an ethene if this is a propane this will be a prop uh, propene because as you remember CNH2N plus 2 is the general formula of the alkanes alkanes for the alkenes um, it is CNH2N. So basically, when you remove a 2, it changes to an alkene. Now, another example. We have a propane. Um, you have cracking. Um, um, so yeah, basically cracking just to, um, to, to name the reaction that is taking place. And the conditions, as I said, you need to mention at 600 degrees Celsius, silicon uh, oxide and aluminum oxide. Now, you have propane. So if you don't want it, if you don't want propene and hydrogen, you can go for like ethene and methane. So uh, because that's only the way that you can split it in this case, you can split it two and one. Um, so you have C2H4, which is an ethene, and methane CH4, and again, the equation is balanced, because you have here 8, so 4 plus 4 is an 8, and C2 and C, it's a 3. Okay, let's go for uh, the cracking of heptane. Now, with heptane, you have more options. So let's start from the bottom here. If you're going for the hydrogen, uh, as I said, it's super easy. Um, you have here a heptane, and it changes to a heptene. Okay, Ian, sorry. Um, and of course, you need to write uh, the conditions. Now, you have another option. You have seven. You can split it to an ethene, okay, and a propane. Um, 
but in this case the equation won't be balanced and so you add the two to balance the equation um, also another way is that you can split it to a propene and a methane um, so this is an alkane and this is an alkene and this is also an alkene and this is an alkane but again you need to balance because here you have a seven so two times three is six and the one here so it's a seven or you can simply if it's a heptane so you write the conditions and everything the same this like to uh, show that the same uh, same thing just like the conditions and heptane uh, let's say you make it as a propene so c3h6 and you want the rest as so this is propene and you want a butane because you have four uh, carbon atoms left so c4h um four uh, four times two is an eight plus two so it's a ten so you have ten and six so it's sixteen and four plus three seven so it's again it's balanced c7 H16 so both are correct uh, but the reason why uh, those are kind of better because these are simpler much simpler alkanes like a methane and a propane but here it's a butane it's kind of it's like um, a larger alkane so as much as you can reduce it it would be better but again both all all these four options are correct my advice if in the exam you get and it doesn't specify that in the products an alkane must be present go for the hydrogen one because it's really simple it's really easy as i said you remove the hydrogen and you get the corresponding alkene um like if you have a propane you have a pr propene uh butane butane all right, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. And see you in the next video.